Alrighty, our next sandwich that we are going to do is our arugula, mozzarella, tomato, on focaccia. Uh, we've already did this one uh, somewhat, except we added the chicken to it. We're going to use a different bread. We're going to use the focaccia bread on this. Um, and uh, let me clean my cutting board up here just a little bit. And we're going to use fresh mozzarella. But one of the things that we're going to do different, instead of using just plain tomatoes and plain onions on this, I've marinated these in a little bit of red wine vinegar. Okay? And what that does, it, it gives you a, a, a little bit of a tangy taste to your uh, tomatoes and to your onions. I know we have one person here that is allergic to raw onions. Do we have anybody else? Anybody else? Okay. So... Um, one of the things with these onions you'll see on your, on your uh, recipe, it calls for red onions. And I'm using white onions. And the reason being is Vidalia onions are in season right now. And I believe in using things that are in season. And so if you don't, a uh, red onion is a stronger taste, okay? You're going to have a lot more stronger taste with a red onion. They'll make you cry when you cut. I didn't cry when I cut these, except when I stomped on my toe, and then I cried a little bit. So what we've done is we've taken about three or four tomatoes and we've cut them up and sliced them into about a quarter inch thick. Uh, it doesn't have to be a quarter inch thick, but that kind of gives you an idea of how to go. You get much thicker than that and you're going to have problems eating it. If it's in big pieces, you're going to pull your tomato off with your sandwich. Uh, so you want to slice it fairly thin. Boy, I, I lied about them onions. I'm sorry. Uh, when I opened that up, it was strong right there for just a second. Okay, and then... We've just put some red wine vinegar in here. It says marinate them for about 30 minutes. Hey, if you've got an hour, if you've got two hours, if you've got overnight, marinate them overnight. Uh, it's not gonna hurt it. It's just the more flavor that you have, the longer it, you have it marinating, the more flavor you're gonna be able to put in there. So we've taken our focaccia bread here, and the, and the whole loaf you'll see is not very thick at all, okay? But what I've done is I've went horizontally and we've split it just in two, okay? And what we're gonna do, is in, um, or we've already got them all marinating. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to lay a layer of our mozzarella down. This is fresh mozzarella, pre-sliced. We used this on our pizzas the other day. I keep on going back to our pizzas because we're using a lot of the same ingredients. So we're just going to lay a layer of this down. If you like my pretty presentation on the cheese tonight. How many people the other day was the first time you've ever had fresh mozzarella cheese? Anybody? How many people has ever had buffalo mozzarella? Uh, we have some people that are, have um, allergies to cow's milk, okay? And even in this area, goat's milk. And buffalo mozzarella is one of the only cheeses that a lot of people might be able to eat. Uh, we do not sell it here. Uh, we've been trying to get it, especially for a customer, actually a lady that works here whose husband. Uh, it cannot have cow's milk or goat's milk, so we've been trying to get it for them. We've not been able to accomplish that yet, uh, but we've been trying to uh, get that for her. So maybe one of these days, hopefully, we'll have it. When I pull my tomatoes and stuff out, I'm going to pull them out from the bottom, and I'm going to flip them over in order just to get a, a good uh, amount of the marinade on there. Lay your tomatoes. Now, you see how this tomato is when you've got them thin and they've been marinated? That vinegar is going to break down your tomatoes somewhat. Okay, cool. <coughs> I think I got enough tomatoes in here. I cut some up extra. Also, we add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper uh, to our uh, mixture. You'll see on your recipe there. Okay. I need one more. There it is. He was hiding from me. All right, so we've got our mozzarella down, and we've got our tomatoes, and uh, we're going to put our onions on. Uh, I try to cut them as thin as possible, okay? Uh, make, like, onion rings out of them. I was thinking about this when I was making this up here earlier and getting the marinade ready. After those have been marinated in that red wine vinegar, you could take that and batter that and make onion rings out of that. That would probably make some really good onion rings. Uh, I didn't have time to go downstairs and fry them up, or me and Jessica would probably have eaten onion rings up here earlier 
But could you imagine that vinegar and everything after it's been battered up and then you bite into that sweet Vidalia onion with that little bit of vinegar base on it? That sounds really good to me. If anybody wants to go home and make them and invite me over for supper, we'll, we'll, we'll have some later. Okay. All right, we're going to take a we're going to take a judge here. How many people like mayonnaise? Everybody. More people that don't than don't. Okay, so we're going to add some mayonnaise on top of our sandwich here. Just a little bit. <laughs> I had to get you all awake somehow. You're awful quiet tonight. I don't know what's happened. Has the pretty weather got you just wanting to be outside? The camera's got everybody quiet. Is that what it is? Well, you ain't got to be afraid of him. He's got that pointed at me. It ain't broke yet. All right. So we got some mayonnaise on top of there. Okay. The fresh mozzarella? Yes, ma'am. Downstairs in our bakery deli, we have an aisle on the, in the middle of the floor there that has all kinds of specialty cheese. The lady right behind you knows exactly where it's at because she's bought all kinds of blue cheese off of that island over there trying to find the right one one time and she can show you but it's down there in the island we have it pre-sliced like you do here have you ever had the fresh mozzarella like this before I have, but I haven't bought it. okay well we have it pre-sliced we have it in pearls and it's a, it comes in a ball and it's compressed pearls so when you take it out of the package it just falls apart into little beads and you can use it in salads and stuff we have it whole uh, we even have uh, one that I was going to show you all, and I'm glad you asked. This is a braided mozzarella, and it's marinated with olive oil and some pepper flakes and some different things here. And it, like I said, you can see that it's, well, you can't really see from the package, and I'm not going to open it up because I didn't pay for it. I just brought it up here to show you all. But it's actually two pieces of mozzarella that's been braided together. Uh, when it's fresh, it's really pliable. After, before it's been put in the refrigerator, it's really pliable. And you can, uh, they've marinated in some stuff and then packaged it, and it is, it is really, really good. It's got a really good flavor to it. You could use that on here, you know, give you the bump up your flavor a little bit to give it a little uh, bit of pizzazz to it, so to, to do that. So after we've done that, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna place our top back on. This is the whole sandwich. Here, do you put the arugula on there? No. No? <laughs> I am not putting arugula on here. Okay. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I knew I was missing something. All righty. I don't like arugula. I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't care for arugula. I don't, I'm not a big lettuce fan. I'm not a big greens fan and all that. And, and I, I've eat it, you know, and I try everything I cook up here. I tried it earlier today, and, it, and it's all right, and it does. You can tell the spicy in it, but I'm not a rabbit. And, and you know, so. All right. <laughs> okay, all right. So we're going to press it down. Again, like we said earlier, uh, wrap it in saran wrap real tight, okay? If you want to take a little bit of your marinade and drizzle over it inside, you can do that too in order to give it a little bit of extra flavor. And what that's going to do is that's going to absorb into your bread. Uh, but again, the more you press, the more those juices from that tomato and everything is going to kind of get along with it. And uh, you could take two cutting boards and put one on top of the other and take you a, a brick wrapped in uh, like aluminum foil and put it on top of that. The reason you wrap your brick in aluminum foil is so the little crumbs of your brick don't get down your sandwich and, and uh, think it's a hard seed or something when it's really brick. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut this. This makes a pretty sandwich. And you can see your sandwich there. So that's, that's, that is our arugula and mozzarella and tomato on focaccia bread.